Hey, brothers and sisters, what's up, it's Anya. Um, welcome. Today it is... Today it is March 28th, 2021. It is Saturday, it is Shabbat. We are at the beginning of our 10-day long holiday. I hope that you are celebrating either way your seventh day of the week off as a Christian. As Christians, followers in Christ Jesus, we were commanded to follow the Ten Commandments. That's the only Torah, meaning law, that was given to Moses. We were to commanded to follow. Whenever, brothers and sisters, I will ever refer to the word Torah, I will always mean by the power of God's glory and His mercy for us. How awesome is He? I will be teaching you guys uh, about the Ten Commandments and walking in obedience to the Ten Commandments. I want you to know that everything that I do, I do as I am commanded by our Heavenly Holy Father. I don't do this on my own will. I rarely even go and write a question or respond to even questions because... Oftentimes, people either want to, uh, it's Satan acting out through a human being, which is called basically that they want to basically get you caught up in an exchange of verses, in exchange of conversation, having having a, a stupid conversation that leads nowhere. It's a waste of time. If someone has no spiritual discernment and and that it comes from, from not repenting, from not praying on their knees, and therefore, such person lacks, therefore, uh, meekness and humbleness. Because if you, for example, I'll tell you how it was. I provided ex some examples throughout uh, over a period of this many months as I've been having this channel. Um, as how my walk has been with our Heavenly Holy Father. So I speak from, I told you guys from the beginning, from experience. And a lot of things people think when I responded right now to Colleen, mentor and, and humble seeker, I was called, you know, uh, uh, evil or that I'm dark, that I'm of darkness when they listen to my videos. If that's what such a person thinks, because they think like, for example, Colleen, when I was uh, writing her great sister, I love you. You're awesome. Keep going, you know, so on and so forth, literally motivating her. So she would pick her up so she, because she was doing pity parties, pity parties, pity parties. And, for example, some of us were made up a, a little bit tougher. And Father made me aware of that, that some of us need a bit different treatment and approach. And we ourselves are commended to be Christ-like every single day. Right? We, this is a race. We're running in a race. So what, what makes us different from those who are, for example, the wise virgins versus the silly virgins? As of now, you have witnessed. If you have spiritual discernment, you know, without a shadow of a doubt, there's a person such as Colleen Mentor and Humble Seeker have zero spiritual discernment. They refuse to teach what Jesus Christ of Nazareth was teaching himself. As you know, that Jesus Christ of Nazareth warned us about such people who will come, either a claim to be Jesus Christ of Nazareth himself or claim to be of his kingdom or that Jesus Christ has sent them and that he has put them in position. No one has put humble seeker in a position of Archangel Michael. He does not have the mantle of Moses. He does not manifest the fruits of the Spirit. What he calls oil is not new oil. It's not oil of any kind. It's information, for example, that has always been there. What he, when he teaches, he teaches number one. I told you in Greek language, do you think this is coincidental that every single thing that I teach about Colleen Minter, a humble seeker, have been contradicting from it already? So with such persons such as our sister Colleen Minter came even that she is telling people, don't worry, taking, a, taking, an, a, taking one of those, you know, uh, medications that right now that there soon will be forced upon us. You know what I'm talking about, the one with the, you know, the one, one of them is called Lucifer race, for example, that's the full mark of the beast. That woman is encouraging you to take the mark of the beast. When our Heavenly Father, through His Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, specifically said, do not take 
the mark, so it's in the mark of the beast. You will be forever dead to me spiritually. You will no longer be redeemable to me. I'm not saying that he said he used that word redeemable. I'm saying I'm telling right now what that means. When you take any of them, that's the whole point of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When he was teaching about such a time as this right now, when we are surrounded by all of these different different types of injections, why we weren't commanded not to take them. And the only thing that I, I asked the father, I said, Father, the only thing I can think of why this woman is so persistent on a topic that it's not a big deal. She, you know, I recorded a video recording. I think this is two videos ago from this one from the week ago. So it was about maybe eight, nine days ago when I recorded a video in which I show you, I record, I go over a video that she made two weeks ago in which she, she tells you, my brothers and sisters, that's over 4,000 people. And whoever watched her that day of will see that video. It might be way more than the 4,000 people that are subscribing to her. Plus humble seekers, maybe people. If someone is telling you, if Jesus says, don't go and take it, no matter what pressures you will be under, Jesus warned us, you might go, you might have to go without food. You might have to not be able to work. You might have to starve for the name of Jesus. What, and this time is already here now. We are in the early beginnings of this prophecy. And you have someone like Colleen Minter. For whatever reason, her deal is, from what I understand, in one of her videos two or three months ago, she says that she works. That's when I said, I said, please, sister, you don't know anything about spiritual laws. I, at that time, I wasn't rebuking her yet. Father commended the rebuke himself. And then later, he sanctioned a rebuke against humble seeker. None of them have reacted to the, a rebuke by the Father God Almighty. They, they didn't have a fear about it. They took it as if I'm t I, it's my own words. Like it's not a big deal. Do you know what a rebuke from, to be rebuked by the Heavenly Holy Father is? It means be careful. Because you are sinning, you are blaspheming my name. And when you blaspheme the name of Jesus and the blood of Jesus, Father gets wroth. Father gets angry. These people are now blaspheming the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and the blood of Jesus over and over and over again every couple of minutes. Humble Secrets every couple of minutes because Humble Seeker follows after literally what Synagogue of Satan teaches, the Synagogue of Satan that has killed our Messiah, King Jesus of Nazareth. It has crucified him, which of course was part of our heavenly holy father's plan he became a sin free have god have man god in the flesh supernatural being beautiful mighty being became so humble so meek god in the flesh the spoken word of god in the flesh became a sin he died on the cross for our sins your sins the sins of the world so we don't have to be tortured violently for our sins and be in everlasting tortures in hell so we can have god loves us so much jesus loves us so much of nazareth that he died on a cross for our sins and the sins of the world so your sins brothers and sisters whether you from those from the past those from today and those from tomorrow, all you have to do is repent immediately for them. So as I said, in case there is not even so much so as a rapture, as we know in the, the Bible, Scripture is very clear on who gets raptured. Only the bride of Christ, the church, the 144,000 of the church of Philadelphia gets raptured. The angel of the church of Philadelphia gets raptured. If anyone successfully graduates, comes out of the Church of Smyrna, and co or comes out, which is Church of Smyrna is a church of bitterness. Those people are all about strifa, are all about ego, are all about pride. For example, Colleen Mentor and Humble Seeker are definitely from the Church of Smyrna. They're so prideful, so boastful. They literally, Satan is the one who provided them with the desires of the wicked, evil hearts. People who seek who exaggerate who like for example in a case of our sister 
I told you what has happened between me and her. I'm using her now as an example because I'm still hoping that maybe she will evaluate her actions and behaviors as a woman. I'm 44 years old, so she has to be in her 50s. If a woman at 50 some years old looks for, looks, seeks, seeks another sister, for Shrifa, and when father sent me out to point out to her sister, please stop telling our brothers and sisters to go take this abomination. Please stop telling them this. Please stop telling them this. And she still continues on saying it every couple of videos. She says this. In a last video from almost now two weeks ago, she, uh, Colleen Minter says, and don't worry, even if you took, took, it, took, took that vaccine, it doesn't matter because you will be raptured soon. She says, no, brothers and sisters, if you took it, you're not going to be raptured at all. If you took it, you're going straight to hell. You are already dead spiritually to our heavenly holy father. You are no longer redeemable. Your bloodline, your DNA is no longer redeemable by the precious blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth because your DNA is therefore changed into a fallen angel DNA. And Jesus Christ of Nazareth did not die for fallen angel DNA. He did not die for demonic DNA. He didn't die for Satan or for demons who rebelled against him. He died for a human being that he has created in his image. Safe so people, I tell you and I teach you about things that are the true oil. For I receive that oil on my knees repenting daily, performing spiritual warfare daily. Father said, feed my sheep, Anna, go and feed my sheep. Teach them about the authority that they have over scorpions and serpents because all of those witches, warlocks that transferred out and say that they love me instead of teaching my children about their spiritual authority over Satan, over the fallen angels, over all the authority that I gave them through the name above all names that I gave my son, Yeshua HaMashiach of Nazareth, as I called them and named them Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The authority that I is mentioned in Luke chapter 10, verse 17 to 20, where Jesus said, I saw Satan as a lightning fall from heaven. I give unto you the power, the power to tread on scorpions and serpents and over all the power of the enemy, so nothing shall by any means hurt you. Rejoice not that the devils are subject unto you, but rather rejoice that your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. Rejoice, my brothers and sisters, because Jesus Christ loves you. I love you. And I, Father cannot just quietly look on as you, my brothers and sisters, you saw, you should, they were, these two people were told what was coming next against both of them individually and what were the enemy's plans. And they still have chosen to go I believe in, in Colleen's case at this point, I believe she has taken an abomination. And I believe this is why she says it doesn't matter if you take it because she, she wants to think that, you know, that's in, an impossibility, that it cannot be that, that easy. It, it, that's not it. That's not, no, no, it cannot be it. No, it's not it. No, uh uh. But it is. I'm telling you that it is. And do not expect our government to come forward and say, hey, this is the mark of the beast and we're going to give you the mark of the beast because we want you to follow after Satan who, are, who will call himself also Lucifer or the Antichrist. Men of perdition, no. Expect delusion. Expect witchcraft. Expect black magic arts. Expect an abomination to be hidden, concealed as others will be more prominent because they're so boastful and anyone who follows the men of perdition antichrist and by the way antichrist i'm sure by now if you are of lord jesus christ of nazareth and you know jesus christ of nazareth then jesus christ of nazareth our messiah our lord and savior have already showed you how satan has been calling himself for years already in vatican jesus the son of lucifer do you understand the gravity of what Colleen is following? In the last video, Colleen is showing, for example, Archangel Michael walking over that pi letter, Greek letter P-H-I, right? Saying that she always says that Greek letter P-H-I is Jesus. She means, of course, Jesus of Nazareth in her mind, and we know that. However, 
We know that in occult, meaning in Satanism, that represents Satan. I don't care whether he calls himself Satan, calls himself Lucifer or Satan, or he comes, he comes himself man of, per, or, per, of perdition or Antichrist, or whether he, comes, he calls himself Jesus, the son of Lucifer. That's still Satan. He has hundred other names for it. What you must understand is if the doctrine of the devils or doctrine of demons that Jesus Christ of Nazareth himself warned us about, he called that type of doctrine, what humble seeker Colleen Mentor teaches, is doctrine of insanity, doctrine of the devils, doctrine of demons. Why? Because Jesus warned us about such people who come, will be coming and saying, I am so and so and Jesus has sent me and you are to follow me. Because I'm so-and-so, yet they have nothing to show for but what they claim is the oil. People who will follow after such people, as Jesus Christ himself said, let the dead bury the dead. Question is, are you dead or are you alive? Because I follow after Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who is life, who is life eternal, who is life everlasting, who died on the cross for my sins and the sins of the world. So all I have to do, I repent every day on my sins. And even when I'm tired and exhausted, or I'm so beaten up from spiritual warfare or tortures or an assault and attack, whether I'm at work at home, it happens all the time. Or the extra drainage, I am continuously warring something or someone that's evil. Do you understand? I war demons in human flesh. And I see them spiritually and physically now. Because all of us, depending on how you are committed to the true one and only Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Jesus Christ of Nazareth, after you get to know him, he will do any he will do anything for us. But if a person such as Colleen Mentor or Humble Seeker or anyone who follows after their doctrine of the devils, you then reject the true doctrine of Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Which means that, number one, Father will always... He, Hebrew language is the only language that our Heavenly Holy Father has created. Greek language, as I also, if you any of you have followed me, you will know by now. And I believe I made a 10-minute minute, made minute video about it, teaching my, uh, you know, my students or anyone who is interested in following after Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, teaching them quickly how Greek language literally between almost 75 let's call it 75 percent of it if not more is means literally what if if father if one would go and check a number or dramatia of certain some words in hebrew it will mean precisely opposite in the greek language why because satan created the greek language and the Greek letter P-H-I, Pi, the 22nd letter of the alphabet, represents the Antichrist, Satan, and above all, the mark of the beast. And the humble seeker, the sign that he was showing is as a sign of the woman of the Revelation 12. He is not that sign. Satan has picked him, handpicked him, knowing that Father has be, has had me watch them from two and a half years ago before they were, were even led on to this. Why? So Father could teach, could use me. And later, we hope we will be able to use at least one of them for learning purposes because either both of them will come out of this or one of them can come out of this victorious already now. I don't know how much do you need proof do you need when someone comes to you and says, Dear sister, Jesus Christ of Nazareth himself says, Do not take any abomination. In, do not take any of those abominations, meaning those medications that they want to inject into us. Do not, Jesus said, Don't take it or you will be dead to me. And the sister says, uh, no, no, that's not it. It's okay. Uh, you no. When I told her about Lucifer is that there's Lucifer is. It's the all three has the image of the beast, the name of the beast, and the number of its name. She called me. She called me silly when I did. You know, I'm like okie dokie. It's been around now for a year and a half, at least officially out on the market, right? If those people who want to get it, they can go and get it. And they'll have it. 
Remember, Mark of the Beast, the Bible scriptures, if you read it carefully, the Holy Spirit will show you that it's at least three or four different types. And then there will be also those where, where the image of the beast or the number of its name or that DNA will be programmable because if it's an inject, if it's a created DNA, whether it's a DNA of a fallen angel or whether in that DNA, that, that code, they will put, I decree and declare in the name of, in the name of and they'll put the name of their fallen God, fallen angel, meaning the name of Lucifer and the name of Satan, they'll say, I renounce so-and-so of Nazareth, do you understand? Then that person will be, and that they, then they will inject that into your blood. What, what you will be entering is a blood covenant with the devil, with Satan himself, with the beast, with Antichrist and all the demons, and I guarantee you all of them come with a demonic attachment, and that demon will start slowly turning a temple of God, meaning your human flesh, into the temple of Antichrist, temple of an abomination, temple of Satan. In other words, you will become as an extension of to the synagogue of Satan, to the Sanhedrin that killed our beloved Father, our beloved Heavenly Holy Father's only begotten Son, the spoken true living Word of God Almighty, Alpha and Omega, Aleph and Taf, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I teach on spiritual authority over the devil, which is, I repeat again, Luke chapter 10, verse 17 to 20, which I just quoted a few minutes ago. And people called me arm of darkness because I speak sternly and coherently and I am to the point other things I review, so yes, my, my videos are longer. However, what you, what you will learn is, I cannot even tell you as a follower of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you cannot follow. My responsibility is to tell you, do not follow after me. Do not follow after no human doctrine of any kind unless you know that that human being truly follow, follows after Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Holy Spirit that he has grant, given Kali Binter and humble seeker wants to stay there. But if such a person, whether it's the two of them or whoever else who follows them, will continue on rebelling, and by rebelling I mean will continue on, embra on embracing the guidance of a fallen spirit, fall spirit of Antichrist, and they're all of them are spirits of Antichrist, all those demonic doctrines, if it's not what Jesus Christ was speaking or teaching or commending, because Jesus Christ was teaching and also he was leaving us comments to follow and not too many people they read it but they don't get it that those are comments we must follow them we must in other words fulfill them perform them other i comments i call them suggest you know uh suggested comments which means that we are to follow them use them or, or use them as necessary such a such command is for example putting on a full armor of god which you should be putting on like clothes upon yourself and your family members your children especially newly born unborn even in accordance to, of course, Ephesians chapter 6, Holy Spirit departed out of King Saul because he did divination. He did witchcraft. He went to a witch. He wanted to talk to whom? To a saint, a prophet of God Almighty who served the Lord, yet he thought he would go to a witch. What he thought he spoke to a prophet that died. No, no, no. A demon shapeshifts into that prophet and that person... If, if you go to a witch, a witch has no power or a supernatural ability ever to pull a human being that served the Lord or Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the blood of Jesus or, or Father God Almighty. Do you understand? No, it doesn't exist. It's, in, it's impossible. This be, devil cannot reach such person because they serve the blood of Jesus while Satan is of the darkness. Darkness does not comprehend the light and Satan is the furthest thing away from Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth and our Heavenly Holy Father. Our Heavenly Holy Father controls Satan 100% and now his son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The judgments that are coming upon the world are the judgments of Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth against all evil, wicked inhabitants or lukewarm, lukewarm believers. A lukewarm believer could be also someone who rejected the sound doctrine that Jesus Christ of Nazareth was teaching, meaning 
We can only teach what Jesus Christ of Nazareth was teaching us or his disciples. Disciples were teaching. Teaching Gematria numbers is what occult, Christi occultic Christianity, satanic Christianity teaches in, in masonry, for example. Do you understand? We are not Satanists. So unless you understand now, what I'm trying to tell you is this. Listen, whether this Colleen Mentor knows or Humble Seeker knows and understand those people are antichrist, point blank at this point, antichristic. They say one thing, but they do another. They twist scriptures every turn of the way. They twist scriptures. If you don't have, if you don't have the eyes to see this and ears to hear this, remember by giving, you must pray over this and pray over this, pray over this. You must test the spirits. Colleen Minter refuses to test the spirits as Jesus Christ commanded us to do in accordance to the first book of John, chapter four, verse one to four. Jesus taught us, commanded us. And even told us what we must do to test the spirits of all visions, dreams, information. And especially if we will say, thus says the Lord. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. I love them. But at this point, Father says, you gotta, we got to let them go. They will either learn their lessons or that evilness in them, their wickedness and wicked evil desires, vain imaginations of their wicked evil hearts that continue, like Colleen continuously, you know, uh, she, do you know what Colleen told me? It's su such a shame. A woman in her 50s uh, sends me a message. She says, why don't you attack? She used the word that I, when I said, sister, please don't teach this to our brothers and sisters or our young people to go take this abomination. Don't tell them that. Don't tell them it's okay. When I told you over and over again that Jesus Christ of Nazareth does not approve of it, you will be dead to him. Don't teach this to our people. What are you doing? And I said it calmly, still calmly, with love, with affection. But this time firmly, after a year firmly, now I'm firm because Father commanded me to be now firm and confident, to be confident in his word and to be confident that I have his support. So now Father is all about saving the people who listen to those two channels and whoever is reposting this information. Because you know how you can get only fooled if you are not on your knees and you're not repenting. You cannot receive oil unless you are. I told you what Jesus taught me how to receive oil. You will get on your knees every day, literally showing that you are literally symbolically your body is in symbolic position of meekness and humbleness, but that your heart also truly desires to repent for your sins. Whether it was just saying a bad word, whether it was just having a vain imagination, whether it was a disbelief, or maybe you were having a shrifa with someone, or you fell for a snare of the devil. Like Colleen Minter, she was laying out a snare against me. My sister is laying a snare in Christ, is laying a snare against me. You're telling me that she's Holy Spirit filled or she's filled with the spirit of Antichrist who guides her and leads her. If she, because my kindness, me telling her, Colleen, I love you, but please don't teach this to our young people. She said, I attack her and she reported me to YouTube, not once, but I believe now twice. I don't know what just happened with my channel when I had seven videos. They wrote me I had too many strikes when I didn't even have one strike. For what? Or this could be, of course, the devil manipulating me too. So this is why I'm careful with my words against my brothers and sisters because I do know the enemy and I do our Heavenly Holy Father and I test the spirits and Father says that both take, have taken place. She reported you and she exaggerated and lied that you were, that you were, because YouTube said I was, I wrote her and I enticed violence. And literally in that title, it said, I love you, Colleen, but... Please don't teach about our people taking, you know, the vaccine. Do you understand what I'm saying? They said I was enticing violence. If that's enticing violence, because I say I love you and I want to stop her from 
fooling our young people or making those who already who are thinking of taking it because they want to keep their jobs. I understand why you would want to take it out of desperation. You need to pay your bills. But that's what I'm telling you, brothers and sisters. I've already lost everything. Not once over. I lost my house. I lost my beautiful townhouse. I lost my brand new townhouse. I lost my cars. I lost my career. Why? Because I do follow after Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth because I quickly realized I cannot work in the field that I was working in because it is too corrupted. And the other one was too much money oriented. It would never, never work. I had to choose. I've chose to be poor. However, I am rich today spiritually and I am at peace. I mourned my things for six years because I couldn't heal from it. And I was depressed over it because I always did. I had this. I had that. Now I have nothing. And blah, 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 blah. Whatever, man. Whatever. Listen, stuff happens. If you truly will pray for your spiritual eyes, for your spiritual scales to be removed, if you truly desire Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, He will remain with you. The Holy Spirit will not depart from you unless you will keep on insisting on following after other teachings and all other teachings. All it has to be something that Jesus Christ of Nazareth was not teaching. There is only demons and Angels of the Lord, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father God Almighty, you are either following after the Holy Spirit that dwells inside of you, or you are rejecting Holy Spirit guidance, and you're following after doctoring of demons, meaning Antichrist spirit that, that, that is guiding some other person that you are following, and you are telling them, yay, great, how wonderful our Father is. It doesn't matter that you still praise Him. It doesn't matter that you, with your mouth, you... You say you love him and you, when you, she, Colleen says, I love you, brothers and sisters. All you have to do is say, listen, sister, don't tell our brothers and sisters to take that, to take, to take that, to inject that abomination into their bodies, into their temples where the Holy Spirit dwells because the Holy Spirit will depart from you immediately. And guess what? Guess what? Um, immediately I was the enemy. Immediately she was saying, I attack her. I'm saying this openly today because I kept my mouth shut for months and months and months and months. What I'm, I'm trying, I'm hoping that if, if a love didn't, didn't work, at least now brutal honesty and being open about what has happened will at least give you a warning and make you understand that I'm not trying to take her down. That's not my problem. I'm not judging her. I'm simply telling you that those people are severely misguided by Satan. They're following after literally doctrine of the devils. That's what father said. Father has rebuked one and the other later, humble seeker a, a week ago was rebuked also. And not one of them got on their knees and tested the spirits. These people have zero fear of the Lord. They are not afraid of our heavenly Holy Father. They're not af afraid of his judgments. They want to follow after tickle me in me ears, you know, doctrine. Oh, you are Archangel Michael. We are all archangels. We are all this. Even if we are all have angelic souls as the, as the, as the bride, as the, remember, not all of you are the bride of Christ. There's the bride of Christ. There is the guest at the wedding party. There's the there's those who are serving during the wedding feast. There's last minute guests at the party. You have to know. You have to know for a what what your. Do you know how I knew what church I was from? By Father telling me, by Father commanded me to repent. When Father commanded me to repent, I repented for I think together. It was between four to six months altogether. The first three months were definitely non-stop repentance every day because every day I remember something else, something else. And as I, the more I repented, the more devils left my body, the more attachments departed from me. They had to. I was delivered from evil. I was praying to be delivered from evil for my life and future destiny. Uh, to be delivered from evil. And as I was, I became, as they were leaving, I was becoming more and more Holy Spirit filled. And I, I still repent two years and three months later, two years and three months later, I'm still repentant every day because Father has taught me how this is so beneficial to me to get on my knees every day and say, Father, you know what? 
I had a crappy day, forgive me. I knew this was a snare of the devil. I just had to say something, forgive me. I was, I was in my flesh today, Father, forgive me. Forgive me, Father, I cursed. I said a couple of bad words. I just, I, you know what? I, watched, I, was, I was quiet for 10 years. I, I just, I couldn't take it anymore. I can't take this nonsense anymore. Or whatever it might be. It could be just disbelief. Always, I always teach, you know, just assume that somewhere along the lines, we are, you know, as a human beings, so being defiled by the devils, literally. Because we are. We're surrounded by them. And it's also something that I teach on my channel. I teach you that we are surrounded by the enemy. And, and... It's something that human eye does not perceive. However, your spiritual eyes will perceive. All you have to do is pray to understand it and see it. And you have to test the spirits. Test the spirits on everything I teach. And, the, and wait. Don't expect immediate answers. Anything immediate, anything even the next day. If it's a difficult topic to comprehend like the enemy, it's a complex topic. If you refuse to believe that they, we are surrounded by them all over, literally, our houses, even our bodies, that every sin is a devil, how do you bind and cast, how do you heal people? You bind and cast out devils. One third of Jesus Christ's ministry was, was like that, right? So Jesus tells us, commanded us to do what? He says, cleanse your temples. That's what? That's your human flesh. I teach about that too. You must cleanse your temple. How can you know what your enemy is if you never bind it and cast it out devil and you've never even used or used your spiritual authority over Satan, over the scorpions, the serpents? which is, of course, the devils or fallen angels that are every time we commit a sin and we don't repent for it and are we not delivered from it through true repentance on our knees, making supplication, repenting. Repentance provides breakthrough. Who can give this breakthrough? Only Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus, what oil is, is written in the first song of Solomon, third verse, where it says, I quote now, for thy name is fragrant oil pour forth. What is the oil? Thy name. Whose name? The name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So how do you get oil? By having intimate one-on-one -on -one relationship through the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Only he can give you oil. I can tell you what oil I got, but guess what? In actuality, you will, you will intellectually hear and perceive what oil I have, but that's not your oil. That oil is not in your soul. That oil is not in your spirit. You're not Holy Spirit filled. You are for someone who is like Colleen Mentor and humble seeker. Let's be honest. Are silly virgins. They refuse what Jesus Christ, our Messiah, was teaching. In other words, they accepted and exalted the Antichrist and they teach on Antichrist is coming and he's about to be birthed into this realm symbolically and then soon thereafter he will be casted down to the earth and he will take over that human flesh. Remember, the Antichrist is about to manifest but he is going to be for now just a symbolic. He's not going to be filled yet with Satan. Satan is not going to take over his body right away. He will be around. He's around already. Satan will take over his body when he's casted down to the earth. Do you understand that if you're not going to keep yourself filled with the Holy Spirit, walking in that perpetual state of meekness and humbleness, you cannot possibly receive new oil. You cannot receive new oil when you go, I'm Mark and Jamaica, and God told me that, says the Lord, on April 10th, we'll be so and so. Are you going to, when, when, the, when a witch would assault you today, a fallen angel with his 1,000 demons, you're going to say, uh, in Strong's Concordance, uh, 219 means cock rowing in Greek, uh, how, you know, uh, Electro something something and you know what I mean? Are you going to be quoting to them definitions of Greek words and their numbers or gematria for all entire sentences? Is this what's going to save you? Or is it going to save you what Jesus Christ of Nazareth was teaching you? Authority over the scorpions and serpents and over all the power of the enemy. Which one is going to save you? Quoting numbers? If you're attacked by a demon or fallen angel, what's going to save you, my brother and my sister? Because obviously Jesus Christ of Nazareth said that we all, that we will be here for some of the tribulation. Only the bride of Christ, those who have been already carrying the cross, those who have been suffering for the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth already, 
will be spared Father's judgments and tribulation. I still believe they will be moved to a special place somewhere here on earth, kind of like out of pocket, uh, you know, place where they will rest. Well, the bride will rest and prepare for the wedding while the rest will have to look, con complete their spiritual lessons here on earth. And then you will have full ultimate protection from the Lord through the name of above all names, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Only that name gives you spiritual full blown authority over Satan, over all fallen angels, over and all witchcraft of any kind, any level is broken through the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. You must understand what the blood of Jesus means and what it means. If you never ask Jesus Christ of Nazareth, this is a perfect time right now to ask what blood of Jesus has done for humanity, what blood of Jesus, what it means to be filled with the Holy Spirit, what it means to be, to be ransomed by the blood of Jesus, our souls, our spirits, and our flesh. We've been paid for by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Ask Heavenly Holy Father what that means through Jesus, as of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, what it means as Jesus Christ of Nazareth, if you are his follower, what you should call him. Remember, humble seeker teaches you nothing on spiritual authority. He tells you, in fact, he told you that the, when Father says, during the time of my judgments, when I will send out scorpions and serpents to torture humanity for five months, humble seeker tells you, no, nothing shall by any means hurt you. No, God says, yes, that judgment is against all wicked, evil human beings. And yes, you will be tortured for five months. You will be pierced. You will be zapped. You will be stabbed by the supernatural demonic and Entities, the serpents, the scorpions, the so-called scorpions. He is literally contradicting the word of the Lord. The spoken word of the Lord is who? Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So if humble seeker is making his agenda now fit, and he is contradicting over and over and over again, literally what Jesus Christ of Nazareth has been teaching and saying Colleen Minter has been getting worse and worse. I told her, you, you blaspheme the, the blood of Jesus. You show Archangel Michael, who's been over the, over the ages, eternity now, committed outmost to defending the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, to defending the precious blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, to defending the name of the Lord. You will say he trampled upon the blood of Jesus. So what did she use the name walking? My Archangel Michael walked as if on the red carpet and she drew a picture showing how that a circle is divided in half, meaning the Greek letter pi, right? You can go and see it. It's in her, you know, preview for the channel for that video. It's a last, her last video, right? And she says, Ar me, she puts her she writes her name on the side, right side of the circle and that Archangel Michael was walking on that blood of Jesus. And that red line in the middle is the blood of Jesus. And that Archangel Michael walked on the blood of Jesus. That means Archangel Michael tramples upon the blood of Jesus, which she would never do. It's a blasphemy. It's a blasphemy against the Lord. It's a blasphemy to say that Archangel Michael has done this. It's a blasphemy that the Holy Spirit guides this woman or this man. You people who are listening to them, you're going straight to hell and you don't even know it that these two people are pulling you down to hell following after Satan who plans on calling himself as he already called himself Jesus as the son of Lucifer. We believe on Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the one and only Jesus. And remember, this is why I was teaching, call him his full name, Jesus of Nazareth, because this is a whole Vatican satanic agenda. And all the satanic factions of the earth will unite against Jesus Christ of Nazareth and the Bride of Christ as they have been. We've been in tortures for decades. While people who are surrounded by peacefulness, beautiful villas, beautiful earthly desirable things, peacefulness, as if in a the backyard they have literally parrots, colorful birdies, you know, dropping by like in Colleen's backyard. She lives in a nice, beautiful home. You know, she has beautiful backyard, you know, nature, green, green, eternal greenery all around the house. And she says she's surrounded by death itself, hell itself. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Colleen? 
You're not surrounded by death itself. We, we as followers of Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we don't follow after the symbols of this, of satanic symbols. We follow after what Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he said to follow and his symbols and you can only know what's his by reading the scriptures over and over again till the holy spirit will reveal over than you think because you think the moment you think you you are no longer teachable you are falling and satan will use that against you immediately he will utilize this against you immediately guess what father will allow him to do that why because father says i will test you i will test you how much you love me you will have to suffer for the name of jesus Jesus. So no, you cannot take any of these abominations. Do not teach anyone to take them because Father is, is about to come and judge you. And you will be, and if you will continue on being stubborn as Kalim is being stubborn, despite the fact that fa Father, I pray that he, if Father will correct them, if she didn't take the vaccine, she will be corrected. So, so she can stop blaspheming the word of the Lord until she repents and repents, repents and receives, repents long enough to receive a breakthrough. You have to, the whole point of repentance is that you repent long enough that you cry and say, well, but you know, I thought I, I did this. I, why did I did this? And, and I thought you said this to me, Father, and I fell for something else. Is because only by speaking to the Holy Father, through repentance, by making supplication, by literally pouring your heart out, you can only figure it out yourself with through the Holy Spirit guidance will, Holy Spirit will assist you. Jesus Christ of Nazareth will help you, assist you, figure it out. What is, what else is that is, uh, you know, wrong with our character traits at our core or with our heart? And in order to work on our heart, like for example, I'm using now, forgive me, Father, I'm using example of Colleen Minter, but for example, her heart is still wicked. She desires fights and strifas, and she takes a, a simple correction sent out in love and affection as some sort of invitation to a war. How perverted is your mind? How sick is your, how perverted is your heart, Colleen? You don't recognize a simple Correction, when someone tells you, I love you, sister, please don't teach this to our people. Please don't tell this to our young ones. Because I've seen a lot of young people go follow her. Those people don't read the Bible. And only, this is how I know you. Those of them who say, yay, oh, new oil, new this, new that. This is not oil. Gematria has been always there. That's what synagogue, the whole religion of synagogue of Satan is created after Gematria. Are you insane? As Humble Seeker says, right? No, I'm not insane. The whole religion, synagogue of Satan and occult, is created after Gematria and perverting the word of the Lord, whether it's the New Testament or Old Testament. Remember, they will try to make shift fit, and they will only use Greek language. They will use rarely Hebrew, and only then when it fits. Majority of it will be always in Greek. Why? Because Greek is the language of the heathen. Why our Greek Hebrew language is the perfect language numerically, and the Greek language would never lie. Father created yes stars and the the bigger light and the lesser sun and the lesser light moon for signs and symbols and seasons etc. However to know the times. However, that was in the Old Testament and Old Covenant. We are now under the new covenant of the precious blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And in fact, Jesus Christ of Nazareth said, I will send no sign to this wicked evil generation. The signs that we've received are signs for the coming tribulation, the signs coming for the coming judgments, signs coming for what Father will allow all over the earth, the pestilence, the famine, and all the judgments. They're going to be physical. They will be spiritual. They, they, are, they are upon us. And this is what starts tribulation, I believe, is about to begin. We are a few days away from it. This is the time of fasting. Have, fast half a day. Have, start fasting uh, from the night or through the night till, till 5, 7 o'clock the next day. 
at least do it daily. Take eat something, then eat let's say vegetables or just broth, and then call it a Daniel fast, and then move move on to you know till you can eat less and less. And that's what I've been doing. So you can build up your strength in fasting, especially if you're older and you have sugar level issues. Uh, what is it called? You know, if you just simply with an age, you, I cannot do the things. I cannot just stop eating like I did 10 years ago or five years ago even. I, I notice I feel immediately weak. I was, I almost fainted last time. I can't do that. I can't do that. I have a child. I'm a responsible person. I can't just drop as I'm walking. I almost dropped on the street and I, you know, and, and I just sat down. There was a chair. And, you know, I, I sat there for 15 minutes thinking, can I make it home? Should I call the ambulance and I was okay. So what I'm saying is those things are real. Father understands. Remember, only Satan will drive you to the ground. Jesus will approach you with love and affection for a long time, knowing that you will that you are rebelling, rebelling, rebelling. But there will be time and a place where he'll be like, all right, this is it. In order to save you, now I have to do something more drastic. And I believe that Colleen Minter and, and Humble Seeker are about to experience that something. If they have not taken those abominations, if they have, no, they will not be addressed. Because they're no longer redeemable by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And they're no longer belong to the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And remember, if you yourself give energy, attention, and belief, belief, to such people truly believing in what they teach or supporting the abominations that they teach and speak, you are thus committing the same sins. You are guilty by association. You are guilty because so Satan will literally don't listen to them. Do you understand? How hard is it to go and test the spirits? How hard is it to go and read what they read and ask the Father on your knees, Father, in the name of Jesus, show me if this, if for any reason, you know, this girl Anna is speaking on this and that and the other. She sounds right, and but you know what? They sound about right. But you know what? I, I don't want to go against you. I'm, I'm afraid of you. I love you, Jesus. I don't want to go against you. Father, I, I no matter what, every day for this next whole, whole week, show me that, Father. Show me that, for example, ask him a question. Ask him, for com not for confirmations. Because the devil hears that the devil is all around, so they're gonna give you confirmation almost if not right away, then then they can synchronize, can synchronize confirmations. And you're gonna be like, wow, I heard the horn the horn honk five times. And wow, the moment I looked at the clock, uh, you know, it was such and such time. Well, of course, because you yourself never binded and cast out devils out of your body, out of your head. So you don't understand that you're being manipulated, your thoughts are being what you don't even understand what carnal Eve of sin is, of Eve is. So you will not understand how the devil is manipulating you. How do you have demonic devilish attachments? Because you've repented maybe for some of your sins, but you were never delivered from sin. That demon, sin, it literally, that's its name, sin, is still attached to you. Do you understand? Maybe the devil of fornication, addiction is still attached to you. Maybe the devil simply attached them to you because he's prosecuting you. We all have them. I have them. I bind them every day and I cast them out every day. Only the church of Philadelphia who has the true oil, higher dimensional knowledge and wisdom, wisdom, to have wisdom is to me to know the mind of Christ Jesus of Nazareth himself. Thus, that means that you will you know the son, you know who? The father. Alpha and Omega. God Almighty. You can only, you're not going to get that by being poofed up, hooked up. Jesus Christ of Nazareth did not create it, not one of us humans to exalt us, but to exalt himself. Then, after, only then after we are walking and Christ-like obedience, repent in repentance, embracing Jesus Christ of Nazareth the Holy Spirit and his teachings only then he can exalt you and of course that will be still for his glory and he will be teaching you first and foremost things about himself and as necessary as you will be attacked against because the closer you are to Jesus Christ of Nazareth you will be more viciously attacked by Satan that's a given and witches and warlocks you know how you know if you walk in obedience by how you are prosecuted and assaulted by Satan himself and occult do you understand so no one understand that the holy spirit doesn't want to depart from people but if such a person is so wicked 
is so boastful, is so egotistical that they would rather follow after Antichrist, the Holy Spirit will, will go on a back burner and there will be the famine, Holy Spirit famine might still remain in you a little bit longer, humble seeker. But if you will continue on embracing Satan through these demonic doctrines that you teach, he will, the Holy Spirit will depart from you, for sure, the way it departed out of King Saul. And by the way, there is no such thing as you cannot lose your salvation. Yes, you can. And the disciples were teaching that all over throughout the New Testament. Read it carefully. Read what his disciples were teaching, please. Those, after Jesus Christ of Nazareth ascended into heaven, all those teachings almost... It is, it is just about in every, every single one of them has approached that topic. If, uh, to me, it's shocking that you all, you know, none of you remembers that King Saul is the only one who's being given, yes, example that where the Holy Spirit departs from. Colleen Minter also, for example, says that our Heavenly Holy Father, there is, you know, he's holy, that he's the God of life. Yes, but he's also God of justice and righteousness. And if someone is abusing and assaulting his children, he will kill and he will command to kill too. Well, as, one, as one of the 144,000. I was already shown and told how I'm going to be slaughtering, killing children of the devil. Children, literally children, children of the devil who will not be raptured because they're children of the devil. Demons in human flesh, wicked from birth, conniving mischief from birth. Yet my father has, there's no evil in him. There's no wickedness in him. What did father send out? Destroying angels, angels ain't destroying angels angels of death were sent out against whom all the egyptians they slaughtered them they killed them all children infants toddlers elderly all were killed why because they have disobeyed the lord they refuse to give away the people pharaoh refused to give away god's people god said i will avenge he said it a few times i will avenge i will avenge he refused he refused guess what past a certain time there is no more talking father will act and we are at that time right now where Father is about to act and the judgment that you will start witnessing and the tribulation is about to begin and all these people will be dropping dead left and right will be for their wickedness and evil that they have committed against the Lord, against His creation, against the bride of Christ that they have been torturing, against the angel of the Church of Philadelphia that they have been torturing without mercy, destroying her life. Judgments are here. And they're already here. The war is raging on in the heaven, second heaven. Archangel Michael is warring that war. He will bind and he will cast down Satan when it's when Father will command him to cast Satan down. Satan will not get cast down when Satan thinks he's getting casted down. It has nothing to do with the launching of the Antichrist into the earth. Antichrist will be Antichrist for a while without satanic, you know complete takeover of Satan, uh, of, to be, of his body being taken over by Satan himself. Those are two different things. Please understand that I learned the Bible along as I walk in this walk, in this walk. I walk and I run. I, I really, I run. I do a lot of things. I'm confident about the things that I teach because that's all I know. That's all Father was teaching me from the beginning. The, the case I told you, I'm serious when I tell you, brothers and sisters, that Colleen Mentor... I love her like a sister. I, I motivated her. I was the one pulling her out of this mental funk and gutters. But the moment I came against that injection, she turned wicked evil on me. And I cannot, I don't care what she says against me. She's forgiven. You all are forgiven. If you don't see that I want to help you, that this message is if we get raptured, would we'll be left for our other family members, those who are stubborn right now, or those who refuse to repent, or who are of the world or those who are lukewarm or falling away now, they will be considered enemy, the enemy of Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, enemy of the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, enemy of the kingdom of heaven. Humble seeker and Colleen mentor. You know, Bible says, Jesus says that no one who believes 
in Jesus Christ of Nazareth will be condemned. But the thing is that they don't believe in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They believe in Jesus as the son of Lucifer, meaning Satan. They believe on Satan. And they follow after, without a shadow of a doubt, after teachings of Luciferian occultic Christianity or the synagogue of Satan, which is all the gematria and all the looking up the stars after the meanings, satanic meanings, what Satan has perverted them to mean today. And Satan also, remember, in occult, they use, I repeat, Bible, scriptures, Old and New Testament to do witchcraft, and they use the name of Jesus, but when they say the name of Jesus, they literally mean Satan, because it does matter. Your intent, what's in your heart, who you think about when you pray, Jesus knows when you say Jesus that it's that you mean him. While what the witch, that's a witch, when if you're not going to test the spirits, that witch will tell you, yeah, I was in witchcraft, but now I serve the Lord. Yet she's still in her heart means not our Lord, not Jesus Christ of Nazareth, but she, that she still saves Satan. So she still is being honest. Do you understand? But they're not going to tell you point blank, I still serve the enemy. It is your job to test the spirits, Jesus said. Jesus was teaching how to test the spirits in accordance to first book of John chapter 4, verse 1 to 4. Go watch my videos on how you test the spirits when you're receiving visions. When Father sends out, you're, you, humble seeker, is not... By the way, is anyone coherent or... Who picked up on this, that humble seeker exalted, exalts himself, never mind all the blasphemies after numerous blasphemies, the blasphemies against uh, Father God and, you know, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, but also, did you become aware that fa when Father God Almighty says that not even, that, that no one knows the day of the hour, not even the angels in heaven or the, the Son of God, meaning Jesus Christ of Nazareth, do, it does not even know the day of the hour of the rapture? But humble seeker says, but I do know God has chosen me to tell me. And you think you're surprised that I was chosen or whatever he said. Does that sound, does that sound normal to you? Is he better? So Jesus Christ, the son of God doesn't know. The one who comes to get, get us doesn't know. But humble seeker says he knows. Who does this sound like to you? Who said, I will exalt myself against the most high and the word of the Lord? Who? Satan. Satan speaks through that man. And I don't care how cute you think humble seeker is, ladies. I saw, I noticed, I, I, I father commanded me to assess his audience, you know, by who basically who watches him. What's the percentage of women, men, age groups, etc. younger ones. Listen. Set aside the feelings, whether you like someone, whether you think someone is cute or attractive or unattractive, pay attention to whether or not the information that they teach or speak about is useful to you. Can it help you? Can it guide you to a better relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth? Can it assist you in building up, in run better in this race and saving you time? Is it first and foremost... After you test the spirits, first and foremost, secondly, is it all in alignment with the scriptures? Meaning the spoken word of the Lord, Father God Almighty, who is Jesus of Nazareth. Oil is not new gematria. Oil is not information that is, can be given from reading the scriptures. Oil is spiritual comprehension of spiritual laws, spiritual father's mind therefore the mind of jesus christ of nazareth is to get to know the mind of jesus christ of nazareth why he wrote what he wrote why he commanded us to do this and not something else only you asking questions this is why jesus says only those who think like children and ask questions like children shall enter the kingdom of heaven why? Because you have to be meek and humble. Children are innocent. Children are meek and humble. They, will, they won't pretend they know something and understand something. They will humble themselves and they will ask questions about anything and everything. And they will be patient to wait for the answer. Anything that you get right away, anything that has to do with noises, numbers set aside. It's not for you right now until you will develop 100% without a shadow of a doubt how you communicate with the with Father God Almighty. Why do you look up, seek numbers and outside resources when the kingdom of heaven is within you? 
meaning the Holy Spirit is within you. Holy Spirit is without limit. Why are you seeking out external resources? Anything on the external of this world, the Father said, is wicked, is evil. So why are you seeking out outside resources? Is it, wasn't, wasn't his word not enough for you that it was warning you? The kingdom of heaven is within you. That's the Holy Spirit without limit. This, you have the same Holy Spirit as Jesus Christ of Nazareth had. So that means you can do the same things as he did. But in order to get them, you have to know how to use it. How will you know that if you will not ask, if you will not humble yourself to and ask questions? Anyway, I love you so much and I hope that you will understand that my intent isn't because I'm evil or I'm wicked. If that's what you think, still then that's, you know what? I know I'm going to heaven. I know I believe in the true one and only Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Nothing will derail me from my faith and sure, not some gematria, sure, not some series of numbers, because I will, rep I will ask through my prayers repeatedly, repeatedly on my knees, on my knees, till I hear the Holy Spirit point blank tell me and reveal to me what is the truth and what is the lie. That's only the Holy Spirit inside of you will reveal itself to you only if you humble yourself. Holy Spirit will not talk to you if you are boastful or egotistical. So please repent daily until you will ask Father to show you how He wants to communicate with you. He communicates with all of us differently. He will never communicate with you with outside resources until it is absolutely necessary. The whole point of this walk right now, this race right now, is to read the scriptures and ask a lot of questions so that you can get used to communicating with the Holy Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, through the Holy Spirit that's inside of you. And that you get delivered from all these de devilish demonic attachments that I repeat, all of us have. The better Christian you are, the more attachments Satan can send against you on purpose. You were never, fornication was never a problem to you. Satan will send devils of fornication against you. Just simply know and understand who you're dealing with. You're dealing with the devil who comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus Christ is not a murderer. Never, not for a reason, but he did say, Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Exodus 22, 18. Jesus Christ of Nazareth said that the eyes of the Lord are in every place, keeping the eyes out on the wicked and the good. That's, that's, that's uh, Psalm 15, verse 3. He also commanded us, he said, Commit your actions unto the Lord and you shall succeed. That's Proverbs 16, verse 3. He also told us, Go check out all my justification verses where I teach you justification what devil can or cannot do spiritually know and learn and memorize your authority remember that god cannot break his word and because his word cannot change the promise therefore his promises are likewise unchangeable we who have run for our every lives to our heavenly father god almighty have every reason to grab the promise hope with both hands and never let go it is an unbreakable spiritual lifeline, lifeline reaching past all appearances right to the very presence of our heavenly Holy Father, Aleph and Tav. That's Hebrews chapter 6, verse 18 to 19, to 19. However, if you have no humility and you are boastful and prideful like Satan, exalting yourself so what did you say oh glory and honor to jesus but then you said that but then you said archangel michael tramples upon the blood of jesus so what did you say oh glory and honor upon jesus christ of nazareth but then you say but then you say uh, you know but then you say you're archangel michael who's gonna fight satan with gematria versus uh, numbers literally ridiculous stuff or you say that you know yeah jesus doesn't know the day or the hour or you just maybe say like humble seeker just says but i i was chosen to know the day of the hour Meaning, he doesn't care that Jesus Christ doesn't know, but he was chosen to know. He's better than Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the one who has saved him and the world from annihilation, from our Father's wrath. Do you understand? Stop watching TV. It's the television that keeps you all under mind control. By now, if you want to run successfully in this race, you cannot watch any television, literally. You can't.
He humbles the proud and he brings down the arrogant city. He brings it down to the dust. You who are boastful and prideful against the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, are you, are you, you worship him in vain? Because you, even though you, Father, has sent out one or two very kind, nice people after you who were not rebuking you on their own will, they were ordained by Heavenly Father to rebuke you. And you fail to recognize a God's rebuke and even what it means. How on earth can you know to test the spirits? All spirits that are from our Heavenly Father, they know that they must go through the test of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because that was the command of our Heavenly Father through Jesus for us. Test the spirits. First John, again, chapter 4, verse 1 to 4. Test the spirits. Don't just accept any teachings from from human beings follow only after christ and after all if you are confused about anything simply get away from all television get away from all youtube videos get away from anyone who just speaks only about the rapture too get away from it spend time listening to music worshiping praising and only pray and worship and repent and read this or read the scriptures and ask questions and this will get you new oil one-on-one -on -one intimate relationship with the name of Jesus through the name above all names, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Humble yourself, therefore, under God's mighty hand so that he may lift you up in due time. First Peter chapter 5, verse 6. Be willing to be made low before the Lord and he will exalt you. James 4.10. In, in other words, remember, God... Jesus Christ of Nazareth will not exalt you until you first will humble yourself. Saying, I'm humble, or I'm so humble by, so, by such and such, you know, because Father did it so and so, is not being humble. Saying humble, being humble, that I'm humble with my words does not make me humble. My approach, how I deal with my brothers and sisters, and most of all with my Holy Heavenly Father, because I deal with Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth the, uh, the way I would deal with you. I'm the same. There's no difference in me. I love Jesus Christ very much. And Father knows with confidence that I, if I say I love him, I love my brothers and sisters. Because when I screw up, I say, Father, I really screwed up today. I am so sorry. I, I am sorry. I, I just couldn't help myself. I'm sorry I failed you. And I will repent here and I will cry here. And I will repent, repent, repent. And he will, you know what? I've seen him how he has even used my hands, my hands, my whole, every molecule in my body to show me, daughter, you are forgiven. Don't worry, move on. This is what we have to work on now. But this is what you must work on your personality. Because if you know you are, you dealt with unforgiveness or bitterness or jealousy, you are of the church, for example, let's say Church of Smyrna. So you must ask, you must, you cannot be raptured and still have those issues then repentance is not enough because you're not repenting properly because through the, your breakthrough, Holy Father, through Jesus Christ of Nazareth, will tell you, hey, you must ask me to, to fix that in you. I need You need to fix this. You cannot be stubborn. You, when a sister, when I'm sending someone and you are incoherent and you're too stubborn for two and a half years to hear me speak to you, and so I start sending out human beings to talk to you, and they address you with love like I address you gently because Jesus says, I'm gentle and meek and humble in heart, in spirit. So what does this mean? Anyone who will he send is the same. Anyone who is, ah, bah, 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 is not Jesus. That is not Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's Satan. Know and understand the difference, brothers and sisters. Know and understand the difference and know and understand that all of us are human beings. And like I said, remember one thing. The moment you become, you become or you will make up your mind through your dumb stubbornness and dumbness that you are standing ground, your ground on something that you don't even know is from the devil, then you are, whether you like it or not, you become a worshiper and supporter of Satan and Antichrist himself. Thus, you are therefore Antichristic. 
and you disregarded the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You departed away from him. So remember that it's just a matter of time as you continue on being wicked, evil, and rebellion, because this is called a rebellion. You reject the word of the Lord. Therefore, the Lord shall reject thee from being king. Are you familiar with that verse? And another verse, an evil man seeketh only rebellion. Therefore, a cruel messenger shall be dispatched against him. Her. Proverbs 17, verse 11. Jeremiah 28, 16 says, For this year thou hast taught rebellion. Therefore, the Lord thy God shall thrust you off the face of the earth. For it is written. Remember. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God, says Hebrews 10.31. And I, you, we were commanded to worship only Father God Almighty and only Him. He is a jealous God. By the way, that was Luke 4, eight. He is a jealous God. You were commanded to worship only Him and to love your brothers and sisters and forgive your brothers and sisters in truth and honesty. You cannot say, I love you, Jesus, but disregard someone like me when I come in peace and in love in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the scriptures telling for that father is rebuking you because you've ignored him when he was communicating with you. And now since he's been communicating, you know, through me to you, you still ignore him. Those are the less final warnings. I would be, t I'm terrified for them because these people worship Satan and obviously they don't want to admit that they do. They're too lazy, too lazy, too stubborn to get down on their knees and test the spirits from the beginning. Set everything aside. Father, if I am that lost or anywhere, if I am lost, Father, please correct me and see what happens. They simply are scared to ask that question. Why? Because they have no fear of the Lord. It's very good, you know, every now and then to ask Father in case if there's any, if I'm following after any, anything that I've misunderstood that I've read, Father, please correct it. Please, Father, correct it. Please don't let me walk around with, with misunderstanding of your word. Because that, remember, whatever you miss, you, you rather know less, know less. But no, but make sure that it's from Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Do you understand? Because then you, Jesus will say, say will, then Jesus will say, this person is obedient. This person cares to know me and what I think and that I, that I teach them the right way. Not going after dumb numbers that have always been there, claiming like it's something new when entire religions were creating after Gematria. This person refuses, humble seeker, to, to follow sound doctrine. That's stubbornness that I have never, brothers and sisters, have ever, ever seen before. Never. You see, falling away will not come. That we will all thought that people will simply say, well, this is too hard for me. I'm not, I'm tortured too much. I'm not going to follow after Christ. Uh-uh. The falling away, those people still follow Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In their hearts, in their, well, in their minds. In their minds, intellectually. In their hearts, they follow Satan because they have vain imaginations that they want to be this and that. Usually that's uh, when Satan, you know, tells them you are someone, either one of the two witnesses, uh, the Elijah type or high-ranking bride or it's always someone of a high rank and now recently as of recently there is a huge agenda against archangel michael because satan wants to be casted down so he thinks by doing that he's going to be casted down faster that god does the opposite the opposite i love you brothers and sisters stay blessed i pray in the name of our lord jesus christ of nazareth that all of you my brothers and sisters please Work on your one-on-one -on -one relationship with Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And please don't follow after me. If I upset you so much, it's because I quote scriptures and only scriptures, where even when it appears that I'm speaking out of my own will, I'm really not. I truly am Holy Spirit filled and I am ordained by our Heavenly Holy Father to teach you and to feed you and to tell you specifically and teach you the difference. What is the wise virgin and that has an oil that only 
the word, spoken word of the Lord can give it to you, which is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, no one else. I can tell you what oil I have, even though you will intellectually know and understand, you will learn what it is. You must get it yourself. This will not be, will my fill is my fill. You cannot possibly get my fill. And soon I will be too busy. People like me will be too busy to address each one of you through a comment or rebuke you or even stop you from being, uh, you know, lost. Colleen Minter and Humble Seeker are so lucky. And look how Father is trying to reach them. And they're doing everything in their mind, body, soul, spirit, power. Literally, not to hear the, the one and only Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They reject him with every bit of being in their, in, inside of them. They rather be right and be stubborn that they're right. They rather say, no, I'm right. Because I've received two and a half years of these dreams or three years of these dreams. Than to say, wow, Father, am I, am I deceived anywhere? I assure you. Majority of the dreams on earth that people have are from the devil without a shadow of a doubt. No one understand that. But you would understand that if you would be filled, Holy Spirit filled. Holy Spirit does the works for us, but you must first allow it to show you how Father, Father will tell you how he will communicate with you. You don't tell the Father how you want to communicate with him. Do you understand? You must allow Father to show you how you want, how you will be communicated with, how you, He will address you through the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit that is inside of you first, not outside resources. The kingdom of heaven is not outside in this evil, wicked world. The one who is of this world is who? Satan. So do you think that Jesus Christ of Nazareth will be trusting with the devils that you are literally surrounded by every step of the way, even in our houses, on our bodies? Because you ignore that one third of the ministry of Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth was binding and casting out devils, which he commanded you to do? That's another denial that uh, all the followers of Jesus Christ of Nazareth do. None of them wants to bind and cast out devils. They think healing is just praying uh, and, you know, it's also binding and casting out devils. The healing ministry is binding and casting out devils out of ourselves and out of our home. And then you anoint the home with that olive oil that you pray, pray the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth over, which, by the way, I would highly recommend of doing right now because I believe that Father will be dispatching, will be dispatching angels of death against, against those whom have transgressed against him. I believe that there's a lot of different things will be happening all at once very soon. This is not a coincidence that Father has been addressing those situations with Colleen Mentor and Humble Seeker. The great falling away is full-blown. Learn from this experience. I pray that Colleen and Humble Seeker, because this could be any of us and could, this could be any of our family members, and I pray that this doesn't happen to any of you, not to my family, not to yours, not to our children grandchildren and I pray that they will come out of this this father said to humble seeker please stop right now you will be doing this and he does exact thing a week later and he's like I wrote him I said do you remember me telling you a week ago that you were going to do this he says no I don't remember father also showed me that powerful witchcraft is being done against him this is why father is not giving up on them just yet unless you would someone like that would take the mark the mark the mark of the beast, then you're, you're done. There's nothing to discuss. You're gone, right? Then, then, I, there's, then even I cannot, there's, it's pointless to even address. It's pointless for you to even follow after Jesus Christ of Nazareth because you are no longer redeemable. Do you understand? You take an abomination, you're no, wrong, no longer redeemable. You will change. And, and if not, you will start change very, very slowly until that demon will take you over in every single bl blood vessel in your body through that nanotechnology and then outside demonic attachments. This is why it's important to have the oil also to defend yourself from those demonic attachments. Pray that you understand everything I told you. Pray that you understand first and foremost that you have time to spend with Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth at his knees right now getting that oil. Simply, you don't know, don't worry. Don't stress yourself. Following Jesus Christ of Nazareth is very simple, very easy. You don't need to have PhD. Jesus says the simple-minded, the babies, the children will understand following me. So you think what humble seeker is telling you, all these gematria, this gematria, that is going to help you, save you? Are you kidding me? 
when he's count, he's going against the word itself, what Jesus said, and he's going against Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's Antichrist. That's Satan. I don't care how nice he is. I don't care how attractive maybe some ladies of you think he is. Not my cup of tea, but I'm saying. You must not follow after such evil. Do you understand? And certainly don't you dare ever watching it for entertainment. That's sinfulness too. I love you. Bye-bye.